I don't remember the entire day itself, but I know that I fell. Tragically, with her whole life ahead of her, college graduation and medical school on the horizon, a severe ski accident altered her life's course in unimaginable ways. Oh this my God. Stunning. Oh, wow. You worked with what we had and you just made it all better. I've been in a position where I thought I could never feel happy again, or that there was no future for me and that my life was basically over and I'm way more hopeful now. I know that when something's terrible, it's not permanent and that it's only temporary and I can overcome it. Hi, I'm Scott. Hi, I'm Audrey and we're the Colton family. We have two children, Eric is 23 and Rebecca is 21. Go, Beth! My sister Rebecca is loyal, she's adventurous. Very, very bright, fun, beautiful, loves to go, 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 go. With her personality, she does have a lot of friends and it's not quantity at all. Every one of these friends she has meaningful, caring relationships with. I definitely feel like at home when I'm with Rebecca. She is someone who makes me feel comfortable in my own skin, which I think is such a gift that you can give someone. Rebecca's empathy, her kindness and loyalty touches everyone she meets. Tragically, with her whole life ahead of her, college graduation and medical school on the horizon, a severe ski accident altered her life's course in unimaginable ways. I don't remember the entire day itself, but I know that I fell. I got a call and it was my son on the phone. Eric quickly told me that Rebecca had been found unconscious on the mountain and that she was going to be airlifted to a hospital in New Hampshire by the name of Dartmouth. I almost collapsed. Instantly when I got in the house, I just pulled out two suitcases and we just packed up the car and just left. Heroic healthcare professionals saved Rebecca's life, but she did suffer a devastating spinal cord injury and is now a quadriplegic. At first, I think it was a little bit of like shock and a little bit of numbness. I was thinking to myself that I was basically the saddest person in the world because I couldn't move anything. I couldn't talk. I couldn't breathe on my own. I was on a ventilator and I already knew that there was like such a long road ahead of me. To be closer to Rebecca, her parents, Audrey and Scott, dropped everything and relocated from New York to Boston. Meanwhile, their Plainview community rallied around them and provided much needed emotional and financial support. It's really meant the world to me. I had no idea that so many people cared so much about me in the community. I don't know where I would be without them and my friends. They visit me every single day in the hospital. One of my friends says, you have a small army here to help. I want to thank you all so much for joining us today for Rebecca's charity live stream. It was very, very comforting to know that people cared so much and were thinking of us. Rebecca is so tough. She's worked really hard and has made some significant progress. She has gotten her voice back and unexpectedly she found a love for art. You look like shooting stars. I'm surprised by how much I enjoy painting. I never thought I would be into painting and now sometimes I go to sleep thinking about what I'm gonna paint next and it helps me express myself. Being her friend during Rebecca's accident and seeing uh, the therapies that she's gone through, it's honestly really been one of the highlights of my life. Just the way she continues to have such a good attitude about everything that comes her way is absolutely amazing. Rebecca's road home has been a long one. She has left the hospital and is currently doing rehab in Long Island. The Coltons dream of returning to their own home, but it couldn't be less suited for Rebecca's evolving needs. A daunting staircase, narrow hallways, and bed and bath obstructions make wheelchair mobility impossible. I've seen a lot of challenging projects in my day, and this may be the toughest of them all. Rebecca's family knows that they are in consideration for a rescue. It's time we made it official. If George was able to do my house, that would mean the world to me and my family and my friends. I mean, it would take such a burden off our shoulders and it would provide us with a light at the end of the tunnel and a future for us. We have so much that we have to tackle right now with nursing care and supplies and it would just be so much easier if we didn't have to worry about the renovation of my house. It would be just one less thing on our list. Well, hey, what's up, everyone? Hi, Rebecca. Hi. So nice to see you. Hi. George, great seeing you. Hi. 
see you. Great to see you. I've literally been hearing about you nonstop since you're exiting from so many different avenues. We got everyone on board, friends, the neighbors, everyone wants to make sure that Rebecca can come home. I just want you to know that we're going to be able to bring you home. That's amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. That's great news. Thank you. To tell us that he will be redoing our house has really made our day. Wow. Just the, the energy, the, the smile, the eyes. You can feel that you are someone special. And I'm really excited to be able to come and do this rescue for you guys. It was incredible to meet George today. He's such a warm and welcoming man. and He makes you feel like you've known him your whole life. And it was so incredible to find out that he's going to do my house. It made me feel so, so excited for what's to come. George to the Rescue is sponsored in part by 3M. For more information, go to 3MDIY.com. All right, it is time to get this project started at Rebecca's house. We have Steven Anderson, principal at Montroy Anderson DeMarco, laying everything out for us. And my good friend from JRM, Joe Romano, tackling all of our needs on the construction front. All right, so we obviously go from the garage right into this room right here. Basically, our mission is to figure out how to get Rebecca back home. So we're trying to make an independent studio for her. So we're enlarging the space, enlarging the bathroom, giving her a pantry. We're going to install an elevator. We're going to install new ramps. We're going to install a new driveway so that she not only has use of her space, she can have use of the balance of the space with her family and spending time with them. So this right now is the family room, but we are turning this into laundry room, study, and elevator landing. Area. Correct. Access from downstairs. This elevator is going to be a game changer for the Colton family. Not only is it going to give Rebecca access to two floors, but it will also provide her with a healthy balance of family togetherness and independence. We're going to widen that door to make it easier for her to get in and out. Wow, you make it sound so easy. Steven and his team have drawn up the perfect plans, and Joe has assembled an army of workers from JRM. Let's get this thing started. Rebecca, we're bringing you home. Bam! There's a lot of demo on this one. You guys ready? Yep. All right, let's, let's go. Let's get Rebecca home. All right, all yours. All oh, mine? All right, all right, all right, all right. When doing demo, bathrooms are my favorite. It's my ballet. With every swing of the sledgehammer, tile explodes. It's like the symphony of construction and crashing that I, I just can't get enough of. Save the toilet paper. We're gonna need that later. Whoa, whoa. I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Once we put the elevator in, Rebecca still needs to be able to get down this hallway, which needs to be widened. With the stairs the way they are, that's not capable. So now we're flipping them and the stairs will come actually down here. It is full steam ahead here at the Colton House and leading the charge is cord contracting, tackling all of our framing needs. And a big thanks to Cleet Lumber for supplying us with all the necessary materials. It's time to do some roughing. Pinnacle is taking care of all of our electric needs and the Par Group is on top of the plumbing. What an amazing contribution from Kohler. Not only did they give us all of our bathroom fixtures, but they also provided us with a new generator. Rebecca is never gonna have to worry about the power going out. And big ups to Carrier and BP Air Conditioning for providing a brand new HVAC system. I love it when the rescue moves this well. We are a well-oiled machine. George, ready to cut open the elevator? This rescue doesn't work unless we put an elevator in. So today, we're going to cut a hole in the floor for the elevator. The elevator that we're using is a telecab. We're getting it from Alpha Care Supply. The top of the actual elevator is that flooring you see right there. So like I could actually stand in this area even when the elevator is here. When it's up here, Rebecca will have full use of the her level. And when it's downstairs, if Rebecca wants to be up here in the hangout room, she'll have all this space back to her. Yeah, let's combine these spaces. Oops, sorry. Here's Jenny. I literally just popping out the boards one at a time, going, 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 and the hammer is just literally just flying out of my hand. Oh! Jeez. Shout out to MC Hammer. Thanks for looking down on us because we were hammering, but we weren't hurting them. Take this out of my hand. All right, I'm, I'm dangerous Someone with take that. that away. Somebody take away that hammer. No more hammers for George.
Looking to protect your floors from scuffs and scratches? Scotch Custom Fit Felt Pads provide durable and customizable floor protection that fits just right. With strong adhesive and a fit-to-size design, these innovative die-cut ring pads make it simple to adjust your pad size so you can enjoy the beauty of your floors for years to come. As you walk around the perimeter of Rebecca's house, you can just see that there are challenges galore. First and foremost, this deck. The whole thing is literally about to fall, as you and I are standing on it. That's a, that's a problem right there. Yeah, you shouldn't be that's able to. That's a problem. I can't do that on mine. Maybe, yeah, maybe you got it. Oh, yeah, it's obviously just the size of the dog. We are going to tear this deck down and build a new one so that Rebecca can spend time outside in the fresh air with her family. So, look at this. So this is the footing. This is what supports your whole deck. You can just see, it's just literally falling apart. Whether we came to the rescue or not, this deck was coming down. While exquisite flooring and Campco building materials are tackling the inside, we have to address the outside, specifically the driveway. There is no way that Rebecca can access the house in its current state. This whole retaining wall is shot. You can knock on it. It's hollow. The only thing holding this wall up are these trees. Pulling out the fence and the retaining wall, that's going to be a big job. So we got Stephen Dubner Landscaping here, and they have brought in the big machinery. Not hard to rip down a retaining wall when you have a big machine like that. Literally, the retaining wall was leaning up against this tree. These two trees should be given like a an award, a medal of honor. Unfortunately, guys, you've done your job. Great job at it, and uh, now it's time to uh, be turned into a desk or something. I don't know. The girls are back in town! Woo! Hi, I'm Laura. And I'm Melissa. This is going to be a special one. I know it's going to be close to home for you because I know your mom is in a wheelchair and the girl that we're rescuing, Rebecca, she's now in a wheelchair. Her entrance is this hallway and I felt like, how do we like make that really pop? This is where you guys come in. You guys can create some sort of mural that's going to just up her energy, excitement. I'm here, I got the tape, I got a little bit of know-how and uh, away we go. In 2013, our mom got into a car accident and now she's in a wheelchair. When George told us about this, we were like, there's absolutely no way we cannot do this. Rebecca could be an inspiration to people across the whole world. I already saw that she's doing art in the hospital and I could tell she has this fighter mentality and we're proud of her. George to the Rescue is sponsored in part by Filtreat Air Filtration Products. For more info, go to filtreat.com. You got to give it up to JRM and their subs. They left no stones unturned. As a matter of fact, Stephen Dubner Landscaping even rolled in some giant boulders. It has taken a tremendous amount of work to get to this point, but everything looks different when you enter the house. Can you believe it, Joe? We were able to literally flip and reverse the way these stairs go. And you can't even tell we did it. And then you walk down the wider hallways and turn into what is gonna be Rebecca's office, where Wayne from Patella Woodworks and JTC Painting have absolutely killed it. And then you arrive at the elevator, courtesy of Alpha Care Supply. Uh, yeah, it has to recalibrate. I shouldn't have had that breakfast burrito, we all know it. This is what is going to allow Rebecca to access both floors. Hey, what's up, Allie? Hey, George. I'm Allie Papp, a project manager and designer at Monterey de Marco Architecture in Manhattan. It's going to be awesome to see how everything kind of plays out so she can get around. Let's, Let's do, do it. Let's do it. Big thanks to our furniture donor, CFI Office. Now, CFI specializes in creating beautiful and functional spaces in offices and universities. But when they heard about Rebecca's story, they generously donated the furniture for this special home project. What we're gonna do is we're going to string these vertical between two pieces of wood, and then we're gonna clip on the photos to the strings. Too high, okay, too high. Like, too low. Too low? Like, there. Whoa! Ah! Nice save. Tilebar and Curvino have added beauty and serenity to what used to be a dark and cramped bathroom. As soon as the door closes, I can get zen. Ah! 
I'm better now, guys. I'm better. Now, Alexa plays a big part in, uh... Sorry, I couldn't understand. Well, I'm just about to say that you, you play a big part in this room. The last thing I have is Big Fart. Big Fart. Would you like to try it? I mean, I, not really. That wasn't really what I was looking for right now. Voice control is a big part of Rebecca's independence. Home Theater of Long Island was able to make sure that the entire space was dialed in. Now with everything fully automated in the house to serve Rebecca's needs, I wanted to make sure that she could count on cleaner, fresher air with Filtreats Smart Air Purifier. Paired to your smartphone, this unit will automatically monitor and react to the air quality in your room. So one thing that, that Rebecca has really gravitated to after the accident is art. And these are all actually Rebecca paintings. This one is sadness and this one is anger. And we are putting happiness up here. And then on this shelf, there are other things can come and replace anger and sadness, but happiness hopefully will always stay. Boom. What I see in Rebecca's artwork is I see strength in every stroke. Ha ha ha, perfecto. And there you have it, the Rebecca Colton Art Gallery. From the moment I rolled up to this cul-de-sac and I saw the 16 stairs to the front door and the hill and the, all the issues that the Coltons were facing to bring Rebecca home, we literally had to move mountains to make this happen. But it is done and it is spectacular. And the only thing that needs to be in this space now is Rebecca. So let's go get her. It's time to welcome you home. You ready? Sounds good. Right. Fantastic. Follow me. Ready. Oh, my art. Oh this my God. Stunning. Oh, wow. This doesn't even look like my house. Cold. You know, nothing is going to stop us from bringing Rebecca home. Not even old mother nature herself, all right? I haven't been home in my house in an entire year and really, really excited to see how it came out. From the very beginning, we just had complete confidence in the George to the Rescue team and their knowledge about what needed to be done. Straight back. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God, look at that door. When we first drove up, what I saw was this driveway that's been completely reconfigured. This is beautiful. Oh, my oh wow. That was like the beginning, and it was already overwhelmingly just wonderful. Wow, this looks really great. This is where you grew up, and we wanted to make sure that you could always be here. So without further ado, I think it's time to welcome you home. You ready? Sounds good. Right. Fantastic. Follow me. Ready. Wow. Oh, wow. OK. Oh, this is Oh my God. Do you see that this mural? Is, it's gorgeous. It's very pretty. Open bedroom door. Oh, wow. Oh, that's great. This doesn't even look like my house. It's it's oh, wow. It's so oh nice. God. Wow. This is this crazy. Is beautiful. Oh, I love this. I love this. First of all, the voice control door was so cool. And then going through the door and then seeing my bed and the colors perfectly matched my personality. And there are pictures of me and my friends. And it's definitely cozy and inviting. Everything, so from the thermostat to the TV, to the music, to the lights, to the shades, to the doors are all on Alexa. Lower the shades. That's so cool. She'll be able to do things if other people aren't immediately around to help her. We see a life for ourselves, and we see a life for Rebecca. We've emerged. All right, let's check out the bathroom. Oh, this oh, is so wow. pretty. This oh, is stunning. God. Beautiful. Rebecca. This is really lovely. Yeah. Wow. I'm going to come down here and shower. No, you're not. Uh, that's what I want to hear from you, Rebecca. This is your space. I think the bathroom's absolutely beautiful, and it's open, and it's my colors that I like. Allie was very focused on making sure that this was tilted like this so that you could see yourself. Usually I don't even look at myself in the mirror because there was no mirror for me to look in, so this is really cool. This is amazing. Sure. Having the new space down there for Rebecca completely renovated, accessible, it gives me such peace. It's like a little apartment. It's beautiful. This is going to be such a great area for you, for you and your friends. I know. It's really a great area for you. The big reason of putting you back in this house is that you're with your family, so we want to make sure that you can get upstairs. So you're asking about this hole in the ceiling. Let me show you what that is. 
Oh, that's the elevator. It's quiet. That is crazy. The elevator is a godsend. That was our dream, that she would be able to be upstairs with us. See you later. We didn't want to be separated from her. We didn't want us to be living upstairs and she would have no access to the upstairs. It was really cool to go up the elevator. It was quiet and smooth and then right away I saw there was an art space for me. Oh, canvases. Oh, plenty of canvases. It was so beautifully decorated and I was really excited to picture myself painting there. I can't wait for my friends to come over and hang out with me in my new space. I'm watching movies with me downstairs or watching me paint on the upstairs. I'm so ecstatic about it. Wow, oh, okay. Oh, wow. wow, thank you. You've widened this. This looks great. You guys really came to the rescue. You turned a completely inaccessible house into a fully accessible house. You worked with what we had and you just made it all better. I've been in a position where I thought I could never feel happy again, or that there was no future for me and that my life was basically over and I'm way more hopeful now. I know that when something's terrible, it's not permanent and that it's only temporary and I can overcome it. It's been a rough trip, no doubt, but because of good people in the world, and there's a lot of good people in the world, and I've learned that anything is possible. Rebecca painted something for George. Oh, wow. I hope that when George sees his painting, he realizes how grateful we are, and I hope he puts it somewhere that he can look at it and think of me and know that every day I'm thinking about what he's done for us. Other people who may feel similar to what I was feeling can know that there is a hope for them, and there is a future for them. Thank you so much for watching that video. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to our channel so you never miss a video.